ballots in for the primary. So far, voter turnout is low in many counties. And for those who vote all the time, they say that's disheartening to hear. It's so easy when you can do it by mail. You can do it. You don't have to stand in a line. I don't really know why people don't vote. In hopes of boosting voter turnout, one organization sent 22,000 mailers that look like this, grading people on their civic duty. I'm just furious about that. It's ridiculous for them to be doing that. Robert of Kirkland got one of these mailers from Evergreen Health Foundation. I was extremely offended by it. I've had to work consciously not to react to it. Because it shows the recipient's record and also whether or not their neighbors voted or not. We can use shame and embarrassment and all of that uh, to intimidate people. Evergreen Health Foundation is trying to get Prop 1 passed, a bond measure that would raise more than $300 million for Evergreen Health. It was never our intent to shame people. It was a misstep by our committee and a misstep uh, in conjunction with our consultants and we, we sincerely apologize. Vice President Kay Peterson says a local company they hired obtained public voter information from King County elections. But Peterson agrees that her committee signed off on a campaign strategy that used public information in an insensitive way. We told Robert and several others about the apology, but they all say it's not enough. I would like to really say to every person out there, I take responsibility. Not only are many mad about the way things were handled, a woman named Sheetal, who got a grade of D for her voting history, says the record the foundation used was wrong. She says King County elections shows her voting in the 2018 primary, but the mailer says she did not. Sheetal isn't alone. One of her neighbors, Patricia, also bringing up accuracy concerns. We're challenging our consultants to go back and look at the data we have um, because we're going to follow up on this. We take this very seriously.